you guys ever just stop existing? <laughs> nope, haven't tried it yet. All right, so you drink your drinks. We do it. I don't know what else there is to do in this city. It seems pretty bland with all the ice and stuff. <laughs> we could go. Like, we could go. Uh, we could go bobsledding. Hmm. What's that? that? <laughs> um. So you take a you take a sled how, like the ones. Oh, how does well, Horace know Okay, this? so a sled is like a cart. How do you know instead this? Instead of wheels, has you grew up in the south our, too. I grew up in the south, but my my mother was an elf. She taught you about bobsleds. Yes, I like it. Specifically, just bobsleds because she was trying to get me to come here. Ah, uh, I see. That makes sense. Try and tell you about how cool bobsleds were. It's in tight. But yeah, they're like carts with with uh, with little like plates or blades on the bottom, and you can like go on snow and ice, and it's supposed to be really fun. And I was thinking, uh, I could hook up one behind you, and we can see how fast we can get going. Oh my god, that sounds beautiful. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find a bobsled. Alright, yeah. do you look for a bobsled in the harbor? Absolutely. Yeah. Or even if we can't find one in the harbor, we'll leave the harbor and look for one outside of the harbor. Because this sounds fun, I'll say you find a bobsled. It's five gold. Go for it. Wow. It's a, nice. it's, it's a really nicely made bobsled. It's nice, good, hardy wood. And, uh, hey, my, my loot costs 45 gold. Okay. I'm, I'll take the 5 gold out of my cost, Horus. Oh, wow, you're so nice. So either you could feed your family for a month, or you could buy a bobsled. I would buy the bobsled every time. Is that is that Ventus speaking or Grygon I'm hearing? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds an awful lot like Rygon. Just saying. Alright. Uh, I wonder if they'll be mad if we just do it here in town. Only one way Possibly. to find out. <laughs> well, let's just see how fast we can go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, you you <laughs> hitch the, the bobsled up to, <laughs> to Splint. And Splint, yeah. and Oris, you hold on. And Splint, you stand at the top of one of the curved streets, heading down into like that the the wide street that borders uh, the buildings and the and the docks. We're gonna slip and we're gonna die. And you just fucking bolt. Are you dashing? Yes, oh. I am. She's double dashing, which is eighty feet of movement <laughs> per six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, my speed is fifty because I got a perk due to my what class. What the fuck? That's a hundred feet per six seconds. <laughs> oh my! Oh, my face is like flapping. In yeah, the wind. or is make a strength Ooh. check to see if you can <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and split. Make a dex no. check. Dex just straight. Straight dex. dex. Oh, I. S okay, so split. You keep your footing. It's kind of like less. It's not slick ice here. It's like ice that's been granulated to the point that it's more like gravel, so you can get a footing. There's also a thin coating of powdery snow, so you do get a footing on there. Oris, your grip simply does not hold... She takes off so fast that you don't even have a chance to get a grip all the way, so... Do I notice that he fell off and go to help them? That would be a He hasn't bit of fallen weight. off, oh. but he is halfway off and getting dragged oh. behind the sled. Oh. <laughs> on the snow as it's clattering over as Splint just takes off down this avenue where there are many people right past I, the butcheries I, I, I and the taverns and everyone just fucking sees this centaur come barreling down <laughs> just full speed ahead and Look, people part trouble, we'll it's, say it was another huge centaur. it's like the parting of the Red Sea people see this and they scatter <laughs> it is pandemonium and Oris oh, is crazy. screaming as he's getting dragged behind <laughs> <laughs> and and you just go charging down the like the 
the the boardwalk basically the boardwalk area just at the just, just hollering and joyful because you're like yeah I can actually run here so you just go for it and Oris uh, Oris is extremely frightened Oris you know how when you Oris. kind of fall off a sled going down a slope and your coat just starts getting snow filled up in it and it's going onto your face yeah. it's that it's that's happening move, 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 move. you're just getting also you take um. Uh, At what point do I notice? You take you take two points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was worth Don't it. apologize for greatness. <laughs> uh, At what point does Split notice that's happening? Um, uh, make a perception check at disadvantage. Because <laughs> you're running at full speed and there's people yelling and shouting all around you. Um, uh, I have to roll something real quick. Okay, good enough. <laughs> um, you 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 start to kind of try and look behind you as you're like tr trying to be like, okay, I'm starting to hear him screaming, but like, is it good screaming or bad screaming? I can't tell. So you start to kind of look behind, look behind. Make another dexterity check. All right. <sighs> Okay, good enough. Drat, I was kind of hoping I would trip over my own feet. <laughs> okay, with a combination of that dexterity check, and because of that dexterity check, you're able to keep full steam ahead, and because of the perception check, you also are running full steam ahead, and then you look behind you, no longer looking where you're going, and you're like, oh, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, he's not exactly on the bobsled, he's actually like getting, his face is completely like covered in snow, and he's grabbing on for dear life, and he's starting to slip <laughs> off, and as you think, oh shit, maybe I should slow down, wham, <laughs> and all of a sudden you impact full speed into somebody, and just ass over tea kettle, sprawl onto the ground, Bambi style, and <laughs> It's just, you hear people screaming as someone just barely avoids getting crushed to death by by all of your hooves. And Oris, momentum, <laughs> as she falls flat on her ass and Bambi, Bambi, Bambi uh, plants across the ground, the sled just keeps going and is still tethered to her. So it just goes past and gets knocked over somebody's leg. And you go... <laughs> Make a make a strength check to see if you manage to hold on to the sh to this to this sled through this at all. Nope, you go flying, <laughs> you go straight flying off of it, oh! scattering across, and you actually kind of and, and you finally skid to a halt, uh, just smacking into somebody's caref carefully, carefully, <laughs> carefully organized stand of fish. <laughs> it's a lot of fish just go flying. Oh! You could have used cabbages. Split. <laughs> uh, I could have. I could have. Split. Yeah, kinda. it's cabbages. You just Puss. hear a distant man yeah. shriek, My cabbages! <laughs> I and think, let's make a break for it. Split. Split. You're falling down. Away. Because of how it felt, the, the bobsled's still attached to you, and one of your legs is kind of tangled in his grunt. And as you're starting to go up, you hear just someone go, What the fuck? And you look down, Split. and you start to get up, and what you see that you've smashed into. <laughs> You see a you see a human, and you see a dwarf, Hi. and Hi. you see a dragonborn. Hi. And the dragonborn oh, starts to get up, and he shakes his head full, full of snow, and then he swivels his head over to you, just snarling like, "Who the fuck?" And then he looks and says, "You." And the grin Hi. and the snarl that is immediately angry suddenly goes incredibly broad with all these sharp teeth. And, and as you say, and Paul and Ringo, right? You say that <laughs> while everyone else is shouting, and he just goes, You big lunk, get over here! And just bear hugs you while still on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I bear hugs Ringo, okay. Ringo and Paul are like, Ringo, the, the, the door is sneaking away from the fish stand he knocked over. <laughs> uh, make a stealth check with disadvantage. Uh, Ringo is on, the dwarf is on his side just going, Ow! Because he got need in the, he just got need straight on by split, and Rens, and Paul's just like, why did she like, what the fuck? And he's like looking at Haskin, and then he looks at Haskin, hugging. He's like, ah! And everyone, and there's there's a, a bunch of people, there's a bunch of people just kind of shouting across the docks and everything. And um, uh, let me see, uh, <laughs> the Oris. One sec. Sorry, my nose was...
running. I'm hungry. Boris, you knock over these cabbages and start to crawl away. And, and you look over into like the center of this area and just see a, 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 a mass of people who've just run to the sides. And various other vendors are starting to look over like, what the fuck just happened? As Haskin and Splinter are having this reunion and the dwarf is like in pain on the ground. Uh, uh, you start to crawl away. And then someone grabs the back of your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're I go limp like a cat. And it, what? I go limp like a you go, cat. You, okay, you go boneless, and this person just starts to haul, haul you up, and it's this very large, brawny-looking orc. Uh, no, it's not an orc. It's a Goliath. Fuck you. Um, it's this I big. Explain... It's this big Goliath who just p p picks you up off the ground and holds you in front, and just. Brings you around to face him, and he's got this ugly, kind of twisted mug on, and he's just snarls at you and said, You knocked over my brother's cabbages. Split looks over, is like, Hi! Your, your brother's cabbages knocked over me! <laughs> it's everything I ever wanted! <laughs> uh, he just snuck. Uh, uh, you look you looked aside, uh, this brother is a. is a. It's a, it's a it's a half elf, so you're kind of confused. And you see this half elf on the ground, just like sobbing over these cabbages. <laughs> oh, I, I start to feel a little bit bad. Uh, Splint, um, you you hear it up the distance, up where you came from. Oh, what's all this ruckus? What the hell's going on down here? Splint kind of thinks, you know, if we run. They might think it was another giant centaur. <laughs> and then she Split. thinks that's probably not gonna work, but she does walk over to, um... You have to, uh... Horus. Uh, well, you're a good distance away from him, because he went flying quite a bit. <laughs> you're like a good... Can I, you're like I, a can good, I attempt you're good 30 to feet away. Misty step out of his grasp? You can what? Can I misty step out of his grasp? <laughs> oh How does that spell work? You're gonna be that guy. It's a verbal, it's a verbal spell. Uh, basically, he can teleport 30 feet. Oh, yeah, you can do that! Uh, I missed you step away and book it out of there. Where do you go? Uh, I, I try and find one of the alleys that people are okay, in. Okay, you just missed just... step. You just. I'm still wearing I just run away. Okay, so basically. Uh, I've got my mask, yeah. So basically. So we just need to get you a new mask. So basically, the thing is, this, like, the dock area is one level, like, there's stairs that go. Uh, oh, they go. No. They, the, like, there's an upper level where all the buildings are, and then it, uh, there's, like, a flight of stairs down, and then there's the dock. So you teleport, uh, 30 feet away and a bit up, elevated to, uh, like, uh, across the ba the ice banister to where there's a like a lot of tightly cramped together buildings and you just it's, and the guys just I like teleport what the fuck Flint, if I can okay you teleport in her direction but also up there uh, Splint you <laughs> Splint let's get out of here ah uh, I think I have to go I say this Haskin looks you says what the fuck kind of entrance is that you're just ditching <laughs> after all that. I mean, you can come with if you want! He clicks. <laughs> he looks. <laughs> for the fuck. For the hell of it, roll a persuasion check. What to say? Heck yeah! Because <laughs> everyone's being a dick. <laughs> yes! I, yes! I'm not even rolling! Haskin looks like he's. Haskin is fucking beaming. He says. He looks down at Paul and Ringo. And Ringo's starting to get up off the ground, and Paul's helping me up. He says, Just tell him it was a giant centaur and, go, and just get back to the ship. And tell him, Captain, I'll be a while. He says, He grabs you and says, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we book it. <laughs> uh, you just start charging through the crowd, and you hear a number of shouts. And in If I have to, I will cut off my bobsled so that it's not dragging. Okay, I'll say that it starts to clatter on the ice behind you, and someone actually tries to grab it. Um, and but Haskin actually reaches down and just whips out a whips out um, a hatchet and just slices down on it and chucks in uh, like an ice pick or something. I don't know what what kind of what the fuck weapons did he have? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I just fought him in hand to hand combat. Yeah, he just he just whips out like an ice pick or something and slices the cord. Uh, and you you start to see um, a couple people who look a bit who have vaguely similar who have uh, actually no you just see guards up the street 
starting to c collide down. So, um, <clears throat> uh, for the hell of it, roll initiative just to see if <gasps> just to see if you get ahead of them. I'll, I'll roll ha I'll, just to see if you get ahead of them before they have a chance to close the distance. Uh, well, I roll a four, so <laughs> so so you do manage to break through the crowd and get up the up the area towards where Oris is. And there's a lot of people kind of in this area who are starting to crowd around or trying to look at what happened, which works in your favor because the guards can't get through them as quickly as you did. So you and Haskin just bolt up the side towards Oris as he's starting to duck into this kind of cramped alleyway between two built two two ramshackle looking buildings. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> let's lay low for a little while. Might be a <laughs> good idea. Of, let's get out of this part of town and just lay low. Maybe we'll go back to the igloos. <laughs> Alright, so next time we do that, maybe it would be best if we don't do it in town. But that hey, was awesome. Haskin claps. Haskin, you want to see our igloos? Haskin claps you over the back, and it's it's pretty it's a pretty hefty blow. And he says, Whoa. I think... <laughs> not you, Oris. He claps Splint over the back. He says... I think in the middle of town's the best possible place to have done that. <laughs> it was great. He's just cackling. He looks like. Oh no, we're we're we three just enable each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love Haskin. I'm so glad I brought him back. Uh, he looks like he is have he is consumed with incomprehensible glee. Like he probably hasn't had a whole lot of fun since he got here. This yeah, is fucking amazing. This is the best thing that's happened. <laughs> since you got there. So he just says, oh, come on, you're slowing us down. He just yanks Oris up off the ground, tosses him onto oh. Splint's back, and just, just takes off at 40-foot movement speed, running. Yeah. I, I go at 40-foot with him. Yeah. I don't want to. Um, I'm just going to roll quick. Um, you start to hear behind you, uh, you start to hear someone saying, hey, I think they went that way. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Well, Jogs just at the library. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, <laughs> I'll say, Jog, you managed to find a very large lodge which serves as the library on the upper part of the city, and you are looking at a lot of nice diagrams of lutes and a bunch of sheet music. All right, he's gonna go ahead and uh, go. So, um, so, uh, uh, so I, I, I was gonna stop. Uh, uh, the the people who are fleeing from the guards have to make stealth checks. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Because never mind. Uh, if you want to escape this, you're going to have to try and stealth a little bit. Alright. So, let's do this. Not bad. That's good. Splint? Splint. Yeah, sorry. It was stealth, yes. right? Alright. Okay. Oh, no. uh, I'll roll for, her, for, for ye oldie Haskin. Okay, good. Okay, there were more successes than failures. <laughs> So you hear, you first hear someone say, hey, I think they went that way. And you start to hear footsteps. But then Haskin's like, come on, this way. And he yanks you. Uh, he actually jumps over, like, uh, a large trash heap. And Splint, you can easily clear it, your centaur. He just drags you there around the corner. He seems to know the place better than you guys because he's been here a little while longer. But you do, you do lose the guards and run into a part of town <laughs> where people are not immediately aware of the clusterfuck that just happened. And you start to just, you start, you just start to book it out of the harbor town, back towards the city, <laughs> on on one of the ice paths. I'm glad I'm here. This was a good session. I'm. I did not think wonders can happen with a bobsled. <laughs> now I want to go sledding, but winter's over. Hey Haskin, do you want to see our igloos? <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen anything in that goddamn city, so I'm good for seeing anything, honestly. <laughs> Captain hasn't let cool. us get out of bounds until the ship's already and rearing the only... I mean, you've seen the place. It's boring as fuck. The best thing that's happened all week has been you guys charging in there like idiots. That's what we do. And as you're kind of jogging really, along, he just looks at Split and says, so, what? Uh -huh, jogging. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing here? Especially you. This does uh, not seem your climate at all. It's really not. Uh, we're trying to help some people uh, with some things. He's jogging backwards bad. to talk to you guys. He's like a foot ahead of you and jogging backwards on the ice to face you and talk. This one's just like, we heard that something bad might happen, and so we're trying to stop that, but we don't know what it is or when it will happen. I mean, if you can't find it, you can always create it. That's my motto. That's, That's an idea. One. If trouble ain't happening, you can find ways to create it. And then you can have some fun, beat some people senseless. 
Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Wait. What if I just burned them? He he actually kind of, like for the first time he actually kind of pauses. He thinks uh, he doesn't stop jogging. He just kind of gestures with both arms around. He says, "Burn things. Ice place. I like the creativity, but something tells me that would really not go well." I see. Okay. Uh... I like myself a good tavern brawl, but melting the entire continent doesn't seem to be really. I mean, it just might wait be. Wait until Oris gets meteor swarm. It might. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have, we're gonna have, no, and it probably by the time he gets Meteor Swarm, he's probably gonna be a moody teenager. Oh, <laughs> I'll no. just have... teenager that can use me. <laughs> oh my God. I'll just have to stop city. the campaign. Before I hate this summer. world, so I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> All right, as you're jogging back oh, toward the city, oh. let's go back to the other four lunatics in this group. <laughs> we did it, team. Oh my God. So we didn't compromise I, our so, position in this city at all. 